guys, Mark here, gonna give a quick video about the LCD control module on the front of the DaVinci 1.0 by XYZ Printing. So let's roll it to the side and turn the machine on. There's a little on off switch right there. So we'll come right back out and, uh, oh, there it turns on. Um, I don't know if the previous videos, but hey, there's actually is a built-in light. So we'll, we'll roll up and look at that. Here we go. Well, there's a built-in light up there, um, an LED strip. So that's a really nice feature, but let's go into the um, buttons and see what they do. So there's over here, there's uh, four buttons. There's a home and, or five buttons, I'm sorry. There's a home. Uh, okay, up, down, left, right. So pretty, pretty basic setup. Um, but this is the the standard splash screen that it says. So you got utility settings, info, monitor mode, and that's that's it. So let's go up to the utilities first and go through it. There's change cart or change cartridges, um, home axis, jog mode, calibrate, and build sample. So let's go up to the top and kind of kind of walk through them. Um, home all axis, you click it. It asks you, are you sure? You yes or no, but you know, we'll just press, press yes. But here's what happens. It homes uh, X and Y and then Z. In the back, you can kind of see there's an optical sensor back there, maybe, uh, where that white piece is. And so they're not at home, so that's pretty nice. Um, there's jogging, so let's go jog a little bit. Let's jog that X. So I'm just pressing the buttons over here. I'm gonna go down. And let's jog, um, I guess, pause it. it's funny. So I'm pressing the every button. There we go. But here is a problem. The bed is kind of high. So let's go back first and go back. Go to my settings. Um, jog mode again. And let's jog that one down. So I'm going to go down. and um, Actually, down is, is down up. Yeah, so actually positive actually brings the bed down. So here's positive again, 10. Again, positive is this direction. So that's kind of backwards, but okay. We'll just live with it. What do you expect? Um, but I think we'll go press OK to go exit. So OK. Um, and all these other ones are just the same. So let's go. We'll jog 20 millimeters and let's see what positive, which direction we go here. So I'm going to press positive. And positives to the left. Oh, that's pretty cool. So let's do uh, one millimeter. Really small, but 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 quick quick reaction. So uh, click click. I mean it's it's pretty 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 quick. So I'm press OK again. Um, so you get the gist of that. So let's go home. Let's go back to our utilities. Um, so we got jog mode. We got calibrate. Um, we got build samples, so there's demo, keychain, Starvoss. Um, I do the demo to start out with, so I'll show you guys this one really quick. But here's the demo one. Maybe I can set it in here so we get a little bit better light. But there's the demo print. That's like their big, amazing demo. And it's like some kind of candle holder, maybe like an egg holder, I don't know. Um, but oh, not really was stoked with the print quality. I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of crackly. Um, even at the base, it's kind of really granulated. So I was really worried about that when I did the demo mode. I was like, oh no. But when I loaded the software right at the beginning, um, I printed the Twisted Vase. And it actually turned out really well. It's really, really tight to actually take the top off. I don't know if I can do it with one hand. Oh, but you get the point. And that actually is a 0.1 millimeter um, resolution. The quality is really nice. So I was quite happy with that but so that's that just the print quality or print quality really quick while I'm doing this video um, but let's just go back out of there um, back to utilities oh I think that's it right yeah so it's calibrate I'm not gonna go through calibrate right now but basically calibrate it it will uh, it will go and click I don't know if you can see it right now um, to the left let's see if I can point out to the left of the heated nozzle right like there let's see if I can lift that up Oh, I can't really see it. But to the left of there is like a little metal pin, and then it goes and, and touches these back corners. You can watch it there video. It's not really that exciting. But it is it does calibrate itself, so that's pretty cool. So let's go back home. Let's go to settings, see what this other stuff says. So there's a buzzer on off, heated bed. So I actually can turn the bed on. So I actually can preheat the bed. So 
Gotcha. Guess the bed's heating up right now. Energy saving, so you can set when or this thing turns on and off and restore settings. So there's a couple different languages. I won't switch those because can't read them, but you can turn that buzzer off. So no more buzzer. Buzzer is nice, so it does beep when stuff's happening and like when the printer's gonna start, so I like the buzzer on. But we'll go back again. And so we were in settings, so we did, we we're done with settings, right? Yeah, so let's go back. Let's go to info and see what's about the info. But, uh, so lifetime, so I've, so I've been printing for, uh, the thing's been alive for 10 hours, I guess. And last time was nine hours four. Well, that's pretty cool. So kind of gives me a little information. The system version, 1.1 G. Uh, before it was like 1.16, but now the new version is 1.1G. Don't know what the G stands for, but that's what it is. Um, go back to info. Um, cartridge statics. So this is really interesting. I've never really seen this before, but it says the remaining material is 76, uh, I guess, meters? I don't think it's meters, maybe. I don't know, 76M. So, whatever the M stands for, meters, that's 76 meters is really long, but capacity is that, and um, press down for next page. Uh, material material color, so it knows it's white, so based off the chip that's built into it, it knows it's white ABS, so um, that's really cool, because it's just, when you plug it in, it's going to know how to print. Um, so, that is a really nice feature, you guys did a great job there. Um, help, I don't know what that does, oh, just tells you where to go, so... But let's go back. So we're at info. Now we'll go down to monitor mode. And it kind of just tells me where everything's at. So pretty interesting. Um, I'm going to do a, uh, another video in a sec about changing the filament out.